Jesus replied, You are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. Matthew chapter 22, verse 29. Thank you for joining for day 19 of our 28-day experiment of dynamite prayer. The insight mentions that the Sadducees were so sure of what they believed that they were blind to the true power of God. I often see myself doing that as well. I try to bottle up God's power into a package I understand rather than trusting in God's power to reveal to me something that is beyond my imagination. Sometimes our own pride and our intellect get in the way of us truly understanding God's word and God's power. Some churches try to follow the theology of a specific person and close off anything that goes against it, even though it's plainly written in Scripture. Some churches try to follow what the culture says and close off or even twist the things that are plainly written in Scripture. You know, when we read Scripture as well, I bet if you really wrestle with Scripture and really take reading it serious and meditate on it, there are some things where you're going to read about what Jesus is saying and you're going to think, this cannot be right. But I want to challenge you. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just that we have not accepted it. You know, when we live like we know everything, it might seem like we're experiencing God's power, but in reality, we're just severely limiting it. So let's think again. Let's challenge ourselves to really trust in God's power. And one more thing I have to mention before you answer the prompt, I encourage you to read uh, Matthew chapter 22, uh, verses 15 to 22, and also some of the verses before it for you to get a better understanding to better answer the prompt. What Jesus was essentially saying to the Sadducees was that they believed in the God of the dead. It was as if God was dead to the Sadducees. It got me thinking that God will only, quote unquote, come alive in our hearts when we accept that God is the living God. The more I hold on to what I want to believe, the debtor God is. Let's pray together the breakthrough prayer for our church. God, who is the living God, let us really believe that you are the God of the living. Let us not be blinded by what we believe or want to believe. Open our eyes and our hearts. Amen. Let's say the scripture hold together three times so we can memorize it. Scripture plus the power of God. Scripture plus the power of God. Scripture plus the power of God. I hope you can continue to pray using this prayer hold all throughout the day. I'll start out my prayers using it. Dear God, your word without trust in your power is nothing, Lord God. But Lord God, I need your power. I need the power of God to illuminate the scripture, to give me faith, to help my unbelief so that I may open my hearts to the possibilities that you have. Lord God, in my knowledge, it's so, 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 so easy for me just to give up to say to certain people, oh, they have no chance, or to at least think that in my mind, Lord God. I don't want to limit, Lord, your power because of my thoughts, because of the limits to my mind. So, Lord God, may you open my eyes. May you open my eyes to your word through your power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in this wonderful experience. I thank those of us who have made it 19 days. I hope you felt God's power through your prayers and will continue to feel it during the next nine days. We're down to single digits. <laughs>